Hi, Joan. How are you doing today? I'm okay. You're okay? I'm, I'm just okay. Just okay? Yeah. And what's been going on? It's been a rough week. Yeah? Um, I had to go over to my mom's house mm -hmm. um, to pick up a few things. And um, as I've told you before, she and I don't have the best relationship, um, which I've learned to live with. Um, and right as I walked in the door, it was like I was eight or nine years old again, and she was telling me what to do, and um, said I should be doing this, and I should be doing that, and somehow she spirals into me not living my life the right way, and me not parenting my girls the right way, and I just don't know what, I don't know what to do, and I feel, I feel really beat up by it. All right, so you go over to see her, and you feel like right off the bat, She's making you feel like a child? Yeah. And you wanted to say something to her? Or just to have a healthy, healthier relationship. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think someone should tell you what to do all the time, especially when I'm an adult and I have children of my own. Have you tried to communicate this to her? I've never been able to get there. I think about it and I talk to my husband about it. Well, tell me more about that. Well. Whenever I have the words in my head, mm -hmm. even when I try to talk to my husband with those words, I just I can't get them out because I know she's just going to get angry and have some kind of comment back to me. Um, and that's why I haven't been able to even talk to her. Um, I'm, I'm really afraid to talk to her. You're afraid to talk to her? Yeah. And in the moment when you're thinking about that, you feel like a child because of how she's treating you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm bringing that anxiety home. Mm -hmm. And I start, I'm starting to feel that anger come out against my girls now because I haven't figured out how to talk to my mom. And my girls are suffering about that. And I don't want to be like my mother to them. So what might help you here is practicing talking to your mother in kind of a safe environment where she has no ability to react. How is that even possible? Well, what we can do is uh, there's a technique called the empty chair technique. Okay. And it's fairly straightforward. Okay. Uh, I have a chair, like this chair for example. Okay. And you, there's some imagination required for this, but you imagine that your mother's in that chair. Mm -hmm and you'll speak to the chair as if she's in it as you want to, right? as you would if you could speak to her. I know you can't when yeah. like she was in here in person, you couldn't, but you'll be speaking to the empty chair as if it's your mother and saying what you really want to say. Yeah. Is that something that you feel comfortable trying? I'm willing to try anything. I, I don't know how good I'm going to be at it, but I'll, I'll try. All right. Yeah. If it gets too distressing any time, just tell me and we'll stop okay. the technique. All right. So I'm just going to move the chair a little closer. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm just going to talk. Just, just right pretend, to just imagine that she's in the chair right here with us, right, right in front of you. Okay. What would you like to say to her? Um, I wish I could feel safe around you. And um, I wish you didn't make me feel like a child again, and not in a fun way, but in, um, I don't know any better. I'm not sure how much more I can say to her. How is she reacting at this moment? Picture how she's reacting. She's probably rolling her eyes or something. You want to address that with her? Right now, you're behaving like the child when you roll your eyes like that. I'm coming to you, telling you how I feel, and you're dismissing me again. And I can't have a relationship with you if we're going to be like that. And I don't want my girls to be a part of your life if you're going to treat me like that. 
I feel like we need to really work something out if we're going to continue to live close to each other and be in each other's lives. So how is she responding to you now that you said that? She's probably asking me why I would threaten her with her grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And I would tell her I'm not threatening her. Well, tell her. I'm not threatening you. I'm being honest. And these are the things that I've wanted to say for a long time. But you never listen. You never let me even say those things. I never wanted to threaten you. I don't want to threaten you. I just want to be a functional family. Right, what does that feel like to have talked to an imaginary version of her in the chair? It's really hard. It's really hard. It feels, I, I felt um, a little bit taller when I was saying those things, mm -hmm. but all of the fear and the stress that she's brought me came back. Yeah. I'm going to move the chair back out. Okay. 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 So the fear and the stress have come back. From that experience. Mm -hmm. You said you felt a little taller? A bit more confident. Okay. You know, um, maybe I didn't feel like a child in that moment. Was that a surprise? Were you surprised as you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Very much so. Um, I haven't felt like that in her presence in a long time. Do you feel like this exercise was helpful to you? You helped me find the words. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to get that far. I have the thoughts. You have the thoughts? Yeah. Now you got to put them into words. Yeah. I've got, um, I've got more of a structure. Um, a tool, I guess. I have more of a tool. Maybe a starting point. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's a powerful technique. It was. Right? Mm -hmm. I want you to you know, reflect on it a bit, and maybe what we'll do uh, for the next session is reflect on your experiences as you process this over the next week, okay. and maybe move in the direction uh, to a goal, if you're okay with this goal, if this is your goal, to eventually talk directly to your mother and say what you want to say. Okay. But we can do this in stages. We can do this technique again, other techniques. Try to build up your confidence a little more. Does that sound like a plan? It does, yeah. If I can take it in stages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You'd be okay if you could take it in stages? I think so. Yeah. So what do you feel like right now compared to when you first came in? I feel like I have a plan. You've given me a plan. Got a plan. Yeah, and I feel like I can be, um, I can stand up for myself. All right, excellent. So, reflect on what we've done here today. Okay. All right, and I'll see you in a week, and we'll pick up. We'll continue with this. Okay. All right. Sounds great. Thanks, Thanks. Joe. Yeah.